So I su suppose we have some uh, kind of alignment on the cleanup work is necessary, I hope. Do we want to discuss ABI or just uh, go start with uh, some plan on the cleanup first? Then we have, if we have, ti have time, we can talk about ABI. What's, what's our plan? Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So let's skip the ABI part. Um, so that's, uh, let's talk about the cleanup thing then. I, I did uh, some showcase regarding to how we could do this by uh, cleaning up the GUP code first. And actually there are actually two, uh, two let me see. So I think it's uh, 25 minutes. So we have actually two paths, which is one is follow page, one is slow GUP. Fast GUP is actually good in this case. By the way, I'll be slightly faster, so still break me. I hope to cover everything, so. Uh, the gut fast is actually fine just because, simply because we don't have the VMA and we, we, we can't take the lock, so it's kind of, uh, I, I don't think it's expected, but it's kind of good because we have the clean code all, all the time. Uh, for actually more than this, for example, I think uh, try to MAP, for example, it uses something that has special paths like uh, work VMA, work page, something, uh, the API that has something, but actually the RMAP code is itself. Uh, the unmap code itself is actually clean, so kind of. How does UTPE fit into GovFast? Uh, I think it's supported. I think it's supported, yes, but, of course. But how does it detect the huge PD when it's walking without because the VMA? I think we have a huge PD OK stuff. Basically, it turns true only for that. OK. Only on power. And uh, for the rest, it's uh, full, so basically the branches off. And actually, I reused that function uh, in the, and that is the only patch you didn't review, so it's kind of. Well, uh, this, <laughs> this, is, this is why I don't know, okay. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, these two things, I, I did it, uh, and uh, is uh, in MM unstable or stable, I don't, I don't know. I suppose I, I did some fix on top of uh, build arrows or something, but right now, hopefully, there is no issue. And. Uh, the other one I want to mention quickly, just uh, regarding to the API, I think uh, thanks to Jason, just to try to move this forward, because I wanted to avoid this work around, but I, th I, think, I think it's nice. Um, even though I did pay something just to look into the triple details, for example, how we used to trade uh, swap entries in the PXS huge use case, which we luckily agreed on that we should just uh, move it out and we do it separately and it's very, very easy actually. Only one or two spots that we need change and for the rest we can just uh, redefine this API to make it super clean. And then it is the same with PXS leaf. We can drop that. For the PXS large is kind of, I don't know why it existed, but so it's kind of uh, already PXS leaf, so we drop that. In the future we can just use PXS leaf for, on, the, on every single level just to detect I have a definition here regarding to what, is, what does it mean. Definitely non-swap contains the PFM because normally it should be recognized by the hardware, not something that we, uh, we, we put some um, trick on, on the uh, software side. Like uh, maybe huge, huge PD is an example, but not exactly, that uh, should uh, work for all, all types of huge mappings. And I try to list uh, all of them. And then there is a PFM map which I, I will try to, maybe I will have some PUC later afterwards. So basically, we can also do this for PFM map for, for good reasons. And uh, I have the doc. I have a comment, a few, quite a few lines just to mention all these things with some more details so that we can use it all right. Hopefully, we don't uh, stumble into something like uh, uh, assuming uh, swap entry should be a uh, leave. And let's, uh, I think it's easier just to know. So, 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 so i just like to inject, thank you for doing it. It's wonderful. As you can see, it like reduced like three confusing APIs into one relatively understandable API, and it's great. Thank you. So I can, thank you so much for doing it. Yeah, I, I'm happy to. And thank you for pushing me to do this. Um, so, so, okay, this is about the plan, uh, about what I didn't do, but uh, okay, we, we actually did something, but we mentioned that. There are some challenges on cleaning this. First thing, first is huge PD. I really need help from power people uh, just to review uh, Christoph's patch set. I, I will really like uh, that to be merged and apply to power PC, uh, not, I mean uh, all the power so as to remove it. And the second one is uh, page table API changes, which means uh, I kind of try to 
um, we need some API, uh, some huge, uh, some API changes here and there, actually, m multiple places. It can be some huge HRB API, it can be some generic API that can start apply on huge HRB more. And the third one is what and what not, is basically answering what is the code, the ugly code problem, and we, we need to identify that. We, we not complain only, we just start to list things out and see what may be good candidate and what may be not. And the last one is performance impact because that is, I, th I think that is the one, one reason why, why this is dirty work that I, we try to do a lot of things, there's new, no new feature and it can impact uh, performance actually even. So it's kind of, I hope I, I can avoid that but uh, uh, we'll have a quick talk on that. So huge PD. Uh, we have the three types of huge HRB formats, huge mapping, continuous P -P PXX, and huge PD, which is only used on power hash MMUs. For that, I think, uh, uh, so I, I noticed this can be removed only when I was trying to test power code that I wrote with uh, David Gibson, who is in, also in our, our team and who actually worked on the PowerPC, huge PD stuff, huge TRB support, more or less, um, um, uh, using the whole huge PD format. So uh, I tested it and uh, when talking, uh, I just got the information. I was thinking this is something that the hardware knows, but actually huge PD is kind of in most cases just a software idea. And uh, again, thanks to Jason, we have some forward movement on the, on the project. Maybe we can just reduce that uh, logic. And uh, I was wrong in one case where the PowerPC 8 series does have support on hardware, but luckily it also supports continuous PXX entries. Basically, uh, we pay off with some of extra page table pages, right? In some old systems, and, but we get uh, super, we remove everything here. Yeah, like the, the advantage to using cont PT E or X or whatever um, is that it will actually work with Ryan's coming work that gives us sort of the micro THP so like, currently huge PD is only usable from huge DLBFS special APIs, but if you convert your architecture to support con PDE, then your, everything will work better for you and everything will be faster for you and it's just like, why wouldn't you do that? Um, it might be actually slower, but, but I think really, really, <laughs> even if it's slow, I mean, you, it used to be using the huge TRB API, which can be actually fast, you know? It, I mean, it knows the page side work directly and see that. Well, no, but I mean, you'll get, you'll get architectural improvements in that your TLB will be more, you'll fit more in your TLB caches, so your code will run faster. I, right? And uh, if we have the count of PXS stuff, we can detect the size of that. It'll, it'll be similar yeah. to huge TRB stuff. So I, I totally agree. And yeah, so I think I tried to raise this question, but I didn't get a reply, but only until Jason tries to move that more, uh, try to discuss many details on the power, uh, the page side of stuff, so I appreciate that. And also, uh, Christoph, of course, uh, in this case, he sent, I want to really mention that he sent this series, and I really would appreciate uh, Power PC or Power People try to review it and see the possibility of extending it to uh, remove a uh, huge PD for good. I think that is a very, very major important thing that will be depending um, on of this whole work because I don't want, of course, and uh, either I can just, uh, I definitely don't want to add, uh, add support for HPD now, and then I can use some macros which is pretty ugly. Uh, we can do that. So yeah, I was really happy how quickly Christoph turned that around. Yeah, exactly. Like it, it was really nice. Uh, I didn't realize the power maintainers were ignoring it, though. That's yeah. I, 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 I hope, uh, do we have power uh, people that can? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so uh, please, please, if anyone uh, who can help review this uh, with uh, more sense than myself at least, uh, so please help. Okay, so the next one is the generic page table API. Uh, Walker actually did something, uh, also I, I discussed with Jason, and I think uh, we, we seem to agree that we can do it two steps. Just to mention, I think it's still something interesting to mention that we can have some uh, generic uh, worker, basically something that can apply to any level, hopefully. I think uh, the major challenge here is uh, that uh, we may require, hopefully require some, uh, the helper work for all the levels. It means, for example, checking the right bit, uh, we hope that the right bit is, is exactly on the same spot, index, on, on, on every level, otherwise, 
it could be just more branches, uh, and it could be a massive. So I, th I think what we need to think about is how to make page table walkers easier to write, because we're going to have more page table walkers than anything else. So what does a page table walker actually need? It almost certainly needs the PFN. So we should provide the PFN to them. Uh, we probably want to provide the flags to them. And so what, what we can do is we can have the page table walker understand the differences between how the flags are represented at the PTE, PMD, PUD levels, and pass those flags in as, uh, I, forget, I, th I think we have some kind of independent set of flags that we can pass in. And if not, well, let's invent some. I'm not, I'm not saying that we have like an entry at any level kind of thing, but we split it apart into here are the flags and here's the PFN it maps to, like as, as, as separate entries. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, possibly. Uh, it's just that uh, if we have something generic and you wa if we want to apply it to the core MM, I hope we can separate this effort because I. Firstly, I, I totally agree that this is something nice. Um, I don't know what it will look like finally, I, but I mean, if we have this and we, we maybe we want to apply it to more code, right? And this is a drastic change. And hopefully, what I was trying to say uh, is maybe uh, it will help huge therapy. So I hope maybe tomorrow somebody sends some patch and, and the, the day after tomorrow it gets merged, then I can use it, that is the case. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I mean, otherwise, there will be a whole wor work to do besides. And I, what, what I want to say is it can be separate from this. The reason is the next page. Um, so, so could I say a few words, maybe? Sorry. Yes, of course. I don't course. want to steal your session. But, Please. Um, it, we have a lot of code that needs page table walkers. Like, not just MM. Like, IOMU needs it. KVM needs it. There's GPU drivers that need it. and right now we kind of duplicate it in weird ways and open code it and stuff. I, I think it would be really nice if we could take like just the Radix tree part out of the architectures and put it in like, a, you know, here's this page table format dot C and, and be able to cross compile it and KUnit test it so that we have like common semantics that we, that we know about that we could sort of use. And if you could organize that so that there was like the macros and the definitions and then like Matthew's idea of like an accessor for MM and then the stuff that IOMMU needs, maybe it could be actually really nice. And it, it, it could solve the problem that huge P, that, that the, huge, the huge TLB page table walking API has this special notion of like all the levels are the same. It's kind of, it's API design and it's, it's evil. Um, <laughs> but you could have that sort of moral equivalency somehow, like, 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 um, a lot of Matthew's data structures have come with like a, a state structure on the stack to help you walk them. If you did that and you pass that consistently to all the architecture uh, accessors, you know, you could, you could get to the same outcome without the kind of weird mess that it forced on the power and, and other places, right? So I have a strong need to make this for IOMMU. I, I keep thinking that it, there's some sort of relationship to MM, but also MM is so big and so vast, it scares me to even think about the topic, but maybe there's some, maybe there's some sort of gradual approach where you could say like there's, there's the new page taper walker API and you can use it some, some cases, but only if the Arch implements it and if the Arch implements it, then you get all these features, otherwise you just use the old code. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Let me let me see what I can summarize. So basically, I think the idea is uh, we can have something. It would be nice to have. And when we do that, we consider both device page table and the processor page table all together when design. No matter it comes from our device side or processor side. So for example, we can start with uh, JSON uh, prototype something to only the API is proposed. It only used in one type of our MMU page table is fine, but we. We, when we design that, it, we keep that in mind, it should hopefully work for all the rest of right. even processors. Right, I think the point would be to keep, keep it in sort of layers, like the code in layers, so that you have like this key, the, the tree structure, and yeah. then maybe a state for IOMM usage or something, yeah. and, and then like IOMM specific things, and then you could have like an MM state and an MM usage, and I don't know. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's been bouncing around in my head. I, I keep threatening to write it, but maybe when I get home, I don't know.
Yeah, we'll see. I mean, uh, you, you thought about a lot of things. Uh, maybe you will just uh, try to do this, and I'll do this, and <laughs> then we can work to that really. <laughs> we'll see. If I ever get my other stuff merged, we'll see. I, I think, uh, Matthew? Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm kind of tempted just to start writing this down and, and, and see what happens. Well, me too, right? Yeah. Like, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Like, I'm sure if I write out the macros and I think about it and I poke at it really hard, I'll come up with something nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm pretty, I mean, Linus already knacks me, but I, I, I think Linus didn't really understand what I was trying to say, so. Um, I'll just write it out again and, and, and see what happens. I'll, I'll send it to you guys, see what you think. Like, if, if everyone's telling Linus he's wrong, perhaps he'll listen, you know. Well, it's, it's not wrong, it's just you just, every, we just need to find the right idea that let, gives us the, the same kind of CPU efficiency we get today. Oh, yeah. Like, today, the open-coded, you know, walker thing is really CPU efficient, but it's horrible coding style. Like, it, you, you force so much duplication. Like, if we could compact up fast up into one function that recursively called itself, that would be fantastic, right? Like, think of the maintainability improvements. Um, Without macro hell, obviously. But some kind of macro inline function hell to achieve that. And is that sustainable and better? I don't, that's like the, write it and let's see. Um, yeah. So I liked IOMMU because it has a much simpler set of needs. Um, but, oh, sorry, David. I, I, I just wanted to say that I remember uh, Willie at one point talked about most page table walkers actually want to walk <laughs> mapped folios where you would be wanting to do all of the batching behind the scenes and only, I, I, I don't think you want to use callbacks because callbacks are bad, but I mean the idea would be that you ha would have like a page table walker that is specialized to only walk present page table entries and would like do all of the batching oh, you yes. could do for large folios. So, so if we could build that, it would solve a lot of problems in Gupland. Because right, right. Could, yeah, I mean your batching would be for free. You don't have to stare at each and every thing well, and do it 10 times. And Not just batching, but the, one of the problems in Gupland like pin user pages land, sorry, mm -hmm. uh, it, it, is that the output is an array of struct page star. And we don't really want that anywhere, but we also don't want to agree on what the output should be, right? Like VIO is always going to be VIO for the, f the next decade, at least. And right, other people want other things. Um, so there's this like adaptation issue. So if you could write two walkers efficiently that wrote to what they're supposed to write to, that would be a Right. That would solve that sort of, you know, roadblock. Right, and I think like we have two types of page table walkers. We have ones that only care about like map present folios, and then we have some that like, for example, famous example S maps that also wants to read like swap page table entries, migration entries, and all of that. And most probably we want to have two types because these are the two common things that happen. Yeah, I think perhaps one common state data structure and then uh, two different iterators, like call, call, tell, show me all entries versus show me only the, the, the things which are actually folios. Um, the, the other thing is that I, I think, yeah, we, we, we want GUP to work on things that aren't pages, like DAX. Uh, DAX is a page. Well, I, I, I know, but it shouldn't have been, but it kind of was expeditious. And yeah, right, we, we all understand we did a bad thing for, the, for, for bad reasons, and, and we're all bad people. It's OK. Uh, regarding to DAX, uh, Matthew, do you know that whether mProtect works on DAX 1G? I haven't the faintest anymore. I, I probably used to know that like when I was still working for Intel, but I don't remember anymore. Uh, well, it's not for FS DAX, but for device DAX. <laughs> yeah. That's what I want to, I feel like, I mean, I, not, a, not anything. Because, because when I want to merge, for example, Amprotect, with HugeRB, we have PUD very, very normally. And then I notice that uh, in Amprotect code, we just assume PUD as a page table entry. It's not really a uh, page entry any, at anywhere. So, <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, where are we? Uh, let me see. Five minutes. Um, so I, I suppose we have uh, a bunch of uh, better people that uh, have better idea on the generic API. And I, let me see. Uh, so the, the other reason why I think uh, maybe we could start with not the generic API, but we drop the huge KRB. For example, we do have the huge KRB entry hook function. If you still remember, we have the 
page work API, we have the PMD entry, PUD entry, and also huge, uh, huge, uh, P, huge TRB entry. So uh, actually my goal when I was talking to Jason was about dropping the huge TRB entry, but without yet introduce the uh, generic API. So I'm not sure, in my opinion, it really depends on whether we will have P4D or bigger. So if we have, you are going to have P4D or bigger, we are adding more and more P4D code to just consider the work, work page API. We may, we may need to add 15 or 20 or more hooks just to support P4D. But if we have the page table, generic page table worker, it will be much simpler. So it's, uh, it could be a matter of that. My, my, my answer is, uh, so that's what I referenced from uh, Kirill's commit. Where in 2017, which is seven years ago, it, we said uh, not yet. So it's also not yet until now, right? Uh, yeah, so Intel doesn't define it to exist in the architecture extension for five level page tables. It just doesn't have, like, that, 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 that isn't an option. I mean, you know, the bit is there, but if you set it, that's undefined behavior. <laughs> oh, really? Nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, that, so at least Intel, I know, I haven't looked at AMDs. Manuals. I don't know what AMD says, but I, I assume that look, five twelve gigabytes is ridiculous. Yeah, I agree. Like, I mean, so today, I think the largest system that Oracle sells is three terabytes. So you talk about using one sixth of that yes. <laughs> ridiculous amount of RAM as a single mapping, and yeah. you know, maybe there's a use for that, but I really doubt it. I, I feel like the only practical use is going to be something like VFIO land, where you have a Aperture on a device that's, yeah, or I mean, some sort of CXL hybrid nightmare, something like that. If, right. if if you want to identity map all three terabytes of your memory into the kernel, then you could do something like that. But I, I, it really feels to me like we're getting into a future where we want to actually use the page tables inside the kernel. Uh, that address space isolation thing that was talked about yesterday. That you know. We don't w actually want to use 512 gig even inside the kernel, even to map all of RAM. Like, that's just not where we're going. I wouldn't invest any time in it, I think is the... Okay. Um, two minutes. Mm. So I think I, another plan, hopefully, I'll just try to remove the specialty and then uh, leave the generic page table for a kind of separate thing. And we start from simple, for example, and then we spread uh, gradually, okay. Uh, let me try to pick something important, perhaps. So this one, I, I'll skip, okay? Just some more API changes. So this is, is, this, uh, this is an example that uh, why I think HTTP fold can be kept there. We may need some cleanup, but uh, we may not uh, want to finally merge it because Basically, PMD page table sharing is one thing we can do page table sharing, and it's not the major problem because the problem is, so page table sharing is relatively actually simple in HTRB because it only happens on PMD page tables. So only one layer, consider we have those, only one layer we need to add if, basically it's all fine to me, but uh, uh, let me know if, if you don't agree. The problem is when we do this, we need to take something called the, 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 the fold hash mutag and this thing needs to cover the page table changes as well. We, we have this thing sometimes, I think for the truncation race conditions that we have, we need to take this and we do the page cache and do the page table installation, for example, but it's not aligned with the VMOPS fault, if you see, because it's kind of a page cache thing. It has no, basically, uh, please give me a page and uh, I'll do the rest, something like that, but it's not compatible already. Not to mention some small things here and there, like uh, uh, I, I don't even know whether you are aware of this, but if you try to read on a map private, huge TRB will not create a page cache, but we create an anonymous page. This is not the same behavior as of all the rest of the file system. So, and uh, one more is about uh, this something we added this when in 2028, which is 16 years ago, we added the map private support. And we can have some very, very um, insane parent uh, process trying to steal uh, the child process, uh, huge TRB pages. So these things, and, uh, for, for the generic code, I think we, what we do is we do pre-allocation of a copy and write page. And if it fails, we fail. We, we, we kill the uh, process, I, I guess. And we don't have fallback. Basically, this is a special fallback that I only use in huge TRB. I, I don't think it makes sense to port to generic code. 
So yeah, I'm, 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 I'm absolutely down for leaving huge TLB folders. If, if huge TLB folders is the one thing we don't unify, totally fine with that, because it affects nobody else. This is just the huge TLB code that is ugly. OK. Got it. Yeah, OK. okay. It's Great. a page table walker I care about. This, this yeah. It'd Great. be nice to unify yeah. it. And there is a path to unifying it, which is that we just drop the PMD page table sharing. Like, we, we, we get mshare fully implemented. We switch all of user space that actually wants to do page table sharing over to use mshare. And then in five years' time, we, we drop page table sharing from huge to TLB. So That's a possible future. Is, is, there, yeah. is there a, you're going to hate me to, when I say these words, but like, like file back pages also could benefit from page table sharing. Like, is there a is there a logic to make it like a more common concept? That 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 is absolutely the proposal. M M share lets you share the page tables of absolutely anything. Well, no, I don't mean. I mean, like, automatic. Like, if I M map a one gig file in three processes, like like I don't know, my libc or something. Is there merit in having the PMD layers become automatically shared no. magically? No, no, there isn't. There really isn't. Okay. Because it's 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 just so painful. And if okay. you look inside huge TLBFS, you understand just how awful it is to do. Um, because you, you, yeah, like, you, let, let, let's, let, let us not replicate this mistake into random other file systems okay. and just go for the nice clean mshare approach. One, uh, by the way, uh, regarding to mshare, one thing different is that uh, currently mprotect won't really work for all the processes. Oh, yeah, that, that, that's a bug. Well, it's not a bug. It, it is. So right now they work around, it, it is currently working as specified, but what the database does is work around it. So the, 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 the process that wants to call mprotect then essentially sends an IPI to all the other databases saying, hey, can you mprotect it the same way that I just did? And then the kernel goes around and figures out, oh, wait, they, they can all share again now. It, it, is, it is just the most horrible hack, and that's why we oh. don't do it in mshare. <laughs> it's, we, we OK, so hopefully that's it. And if that's the case, it would be perfect, so we can drop that. Yeah. Uh, one thing quickly, just to mention, uh, we are over time, is that OK? So two, two minutes over, is that? Just it, a it, 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 it's a break now, so you know we're just delaying getting our muffins in. Okay, uh, so Chips. hopefully in a few minutes we finish. So uh, just to mention, if uh, there will be patches, uh, if everything goes right, there will be patches, and uh, the PMD sharing and unsharing will be slightly different, differently handled. Of course, they happen differently as well. There are different places we do unshare, some places we do share, so basically we will handle that slightly differently. And for the unshare, what uh, currently the plan is, we re rely on the ref count. Actually, HugeTable does it. It has, a ref, it tries to look at the page table ref count. I, I don't know whether it makes a lot of sense. And uh, by the way, just to mention, it, it, there's, a, there's a kind of uh, security issue there. Uh, Yang, Jang Horn, I'm, I'm not sure whether I should say it, but, but I think it's, it's okay. <laughs> Basically, uh, I didn't really try to fix it uh, because um, uh, I just uh, bypassed that at the time. That uh, we can, fast, got fast can actually uh, spurously increase the ref count. And if, if you see what the problem is, uh, basically, okay, let's just uh, remember that and uh, we can simply use another field that uh, the page table page doesn't use. For example, mem desk, or if we have the PT desk, maybe we just add a field, I, I assume, that uh, to keep the ref count for a huge therapy and we, we check that. So anyway, then that's uh, how I plan to do with PMD sharing and unsharing, and we'll see how it goes. Maybe I missed something, hopefully not. So this is uh, that. Uh, actually, I have one more path, which is the UFFD copy. Uh, the only reason I, I, I think it's not applicable is because it only supports 4, 4K. So basically, uh, PMD PUD uh, is all, all not there. And if we want to add that, we add a new code, which does not make sense to me that uh, it won't work unless huge, huge RB. So maybe at some point, uh, UFFD missing will support THP, I don't know. In that case, it will be more prone of a, of a merge. But for now, I think uh, my plan is to put it aside. And these are the, uh, besides what uh, have been done, these are the rest things that I listed. I think uh, some of them actually is pretty light. I don't remember which one. This one is pretty light. Most of, some of them are pretty hard. For example, work page, I think, uh, that will definitely need a separate series. And uh, yeah, walk page was the one that kind of motivated our discussion about do we need a general yes, API? Exactly. Because the issue with walk page is it passes down like um, like a PTET to the op. So if you want to support, you know, if you want to support all the page granules, you need ops for every size, which is not outrageous, but also awful. Yeah. And today the huge page multi-size one passes in the huge page polymorphic PTET, 
Uh, so most implementations have the two offs, PTE and um, so we page. Yeah. So that's the challenge with walk page. That's why it's so hard, and there's a lot of implementations of walk page. Yeah, um, hopefully there are, I need to look at uh, all the users, but hopefully there are some code but, already. But I think Matthew might have been onto something when he said, well, why don't we just add, why don't we just pass flags in some format and the PFN, we're already doing an indirect function call pointer, so do we really need the PDP? And I think the answer for many of those is no, we don't need a pointer. Um, so that, that might be the most, much simpler answer to, to this mess. Okay. And very, it could be very incremental if you did that. Do you mean that uh, we, uh, we drop the huge RB entry but add uh, something? I, I would say uh, add a new op that takes in the physical address and a flags describing what it is. Convert as many places as you can to use that new op instead. That's all. I need to and convert then, all. And if all of them use it, then great. Then just delete all the other ops. But then you'll, then you'll know what's the problematic, like what's really the problem. But that is the generic API, right? We are talking about. It's a major change. I mean, it's a bigger change to me. Would it not? Uh, I suspect in terms of number of lines added, it's less. Yeah, I'll think about it. Let's talk about that later. <laughs> so. He really doesn't want to. He really doesn't. Yeah, any, anything it's as like long as it works efficiently and uh, we can do some, uh, we can have something ready. Uh, I'm happy with it. So, so I'll talk. I need to talk to his manager. <laughs> <laughs> so. I don't think uh, we need to mention too much on this part. Uh, uh, so basically, there can be some performance impact. Uh, what I want to do is uh, when I when I do some some of these works, uh, I'll just to try to measure them, and uh, then yeah, and uh, of course we can benefit from uh, count PXS batching here because it fund fundamentally is the same, right? It's just that a huge TRB folio cannot be split, but uh, a large folio can be split. I think that is. Uh, I think it's not just for the compete XX batching. I mean, like nowadays we also implement if you don't have to con PTE bit, it's just like consecutive PTEs that map the same folio. So you can just like collect these and, and batch process the folio. And the con PTE bit is just an optimization so you don't have to scan the page table entries. But it's really batching itself of PDEs is worthwhile and con PDE is just like an, an, another optimization on top to do it faster. So um, not sure if, for example, UGTLB could also get away without the con PDE bit on... on uh, that is on actually helpful, right? I mean, the bit uh, implies the page size and... Uh, if, if you have a bit, but uh, what I'm saying is you don't really need it because like if you have your folio and you know they map to the same folio, which we have in this function folio PTE batch, it can just batch whatever the PTEs map. It, it will use the con PTE bit as an optimization, but that's not required. It's just like an optimization under the hood. I, I, okay. I think there's another optimization, which is uh, the, the, the map count. <laughs> because it's, 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 you, you use the, the total map count rather than the, um, each individual page. Yeah, I, I, I mean, of course, I mean, there, there are multiple optimizations yeah. around that. But I mean, just when you go to, work, for example, in, in, in good fast code, if we would want to like, if you have a PTE map THP, you don't really care about the con PTE bit to do batching. You can also just go over. And I think that's the part that we would want to ha handle more centrally, that you just like, you're going to walk a range in a page table and you want to process all of the folios you don't need if it's a con PTE bit or not, like that should be handled under the hood. It's an optimization, so it should just be handled under the hood. Yeah, the, the only concern I have is that we do have, I think, we have situations where uh, you've, you've got a, if you're doing map private and you have a large folio from the file system, from the page cache, and then you've uh, put a single, um, you, you, you've written to one of the pages in that folio. So you can't just skip over them unless the uh, contiguous bit is set, because the contiguous bit is a promise that all of these PTs are contiguous. Yes, but I mean, if, if you replaced a single page, you wouldn't have to con PD bit set. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I mean, yeah. yeah. OK. Um, so I think that's all of it, and thank you for the uh, special thanks to Jason again and Christoph again for helping review and all that stuff, and thank you for your comments. Thank you.